Hey there, Chasey. You want a job? Sure. As long as it doesn't involve riding animals around. And then I got bad news, because it kind of does. Really? What is it? Is someone I know wants the giant robot Tyrannosaurus Rex stolen from the museum. A Tyrannosaurus? Rex? Who, uh, would want that? My private buyer. But trust me, he's nobody you'd want to meet. He's starting to be a real c I shouldn't say. Just give me a call once you got it out of the museum. Sure thing, Vinny. Hey! Wow. Ellie. I think I've got a lead on the Fury case. In Bluebell National Park? Uh, no. Vinny called me about a job at the museum. I've got to steal a robotic Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay. If my uncle calls to find out where you are, I'll square it with him. Thanks. And maybe don't tell the chief just yet? <laughs> sure. Farmer Hayes? Ah, perfect. You ain't seen any of my pigs, have you? The ones I just rounded up. Uh, yeah. I turned my back and they hoofed it again. They'll be all over Lego City by now. If you could just keep an eye out, I would be indebted to you. No hurry or anything. Yes, Mr. Hayes. Great. And if you do find one, just pop them back in the nearest pig cannon, and they'll be fired right back here. Okay. Wasn't my fault. Oh. Ellie, I'm at the museum, but I don't see a way in. Yeah, I checked the blueprints. The only way in is from the rooftop, but there's no way to climb up there. It's okay. I've got an idea. Are there any taller buildings around here which can be climbed? Maybe the art gallery? Why? I just got hold of a chicken. I can use it to glide from the art gallery's roof to the museum's. Wow! That is not a sentence I thought I'd hear today. Good luck, Chase. Huh? <laughs> 
Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't worry about this job, Chase. Consider a payback for how much the gift shop charged for that dinosaur pen when you were 11. Feathers. Four letters. Hmm. Hmm. Down? No, across. This car holds the world speed record. When it was being flown from the factory, it fell out the back of the plane. I just called Sheriff Huckleberry, and he told me that he hasn't seen you in hours. Where are you? A lead came up, Chief, and I think it points straight to Rex. So, not only have you ignored my orders, you're probably about to take something expensive again. Are you sure this is connected with Fury? Yes. Vinny's asked me to get the museum's robotic Tyrannosaurus Rex for someone. It can't just be a coincidence. That does sound like Fury's style. All right, I'll let you follow this one, McCain. But if it doesn't lead to Fury, then that T-Rex won't be the only extinct thing around here. I can't believe I almost got ran over in a museum. This car holds the world speed record. When it was being flown from the factory, it fell out the back of the plane, reaching a terminal velocity of 500 miles an hour. This is the largest known silver Lego ingot to ever be found in the Bluebell Mine, discovered by Silas Fletcher when it fell on top of him. It was kindly donated to the museum by his next of kin. This steam locomotive was unveiled at the opening of Lego City's very first train station. It wasn't used until two years later when a second station was finally built.
This is the historic Lego City Tram, which was sold by con artist Tricky Jimmy to no less than 12 separate customers, all of whom neglected to notice that their receipts clearly stated the carriage is not included. This oil derrick is over a hundred years old. Oil derricks are named after their inventor, John Oil. This pirate ship was painstakingly re- The dinosaur exhibit? Ooh, great. I can use that super build. T-Rex is bound Those to be in there. Awesome. Professor Patrick Palmer was the founder of Apollo Island, a scientist since he was eight. It took him many years to be taken seriously.
Well, that certainly isn't a T-Rex. This mighty dinosaur has a series of blade-like bones running along its back. Some... And that isn't a T-Rex either. Get in here! Can I smell burning? Is the T-Rex. If I ran this place, it'd be right in the middle, being all roar. This dinosaur evolved extensive armor plating on its head, either because it was preyed upon by other dinosaurs or because it was really clumsy. This peaceful dinosaur had a vegetarian diet. It was deadlier than a Tyrannosaurus Rex, as its massive size meant it would often accidentally squash smaller dinosaurs. Oh, great. They haven't built the T-Rex exhibit yet. I better find some super bricks. You know, this is exactly how stuff like the Brontosaurus happens. These rare totems have been designed to spin around at great speed, mimicking the tribal dance of the people who built them. However, they are unable to mimic the latter stages of the dance where the participants fall over and moan about feeling ill.
Coming soon, an exciting diorama showing what scientists believe our future will look like. Pending completion until we receive the model monkeys on horseback. I hope this mummy's tomb isn't cursed. I've got enough bricks to build that T-Rex now. Tyrannosaurus Rex was one of the largest carnivores to ever live until the birth of my uncle Dave. A meal like no one. I found a lot of super bricks. Hmm, maybe there's something I can build around here. I can use them to build a T-Rex. That is lucky. I got the T-Rex out of the museum. Do you want me to take it to your private buyer? Nah, he don't want anyone meeting him but me. I'll send you the location of the drop-off. Okay, Vinny. Hey, I know you're eager, Chasey, but this guy's bad news. Tell me about it. Sure. He's real impatient. Like he needs all this stuff yesterday. And his whole business has changed. Time was, you took stuff to make a profit. But this feels different. Like there's something bigger going on. Yeah, listen to me. Going on like my mother. Just drop off that T-Rex. Hey, Chase. Are you busy? Well, I'm kind of... Great. Are you getting close to finding my dad? Uh, yeah. I'm on a job for a guy who I'm sure is working for Rex. Once I find Rex, I think I'll find your dad. 
You really think Rex has my dad? Is it because I testified against him? Rex is the kingpin. He must have something to do with your dad's disappearance. Uh, but I don't think it's because of your testimony. If it was, he'd just grab you, right? That's what I'd do. What? You know, if I was evil. Which I'm not. So what is Rex's connection to my dad? I don't know. But once I do know something, I'll call you. Thanks, Chase. The T-Rex is at the drop-off point, Vinny. That's great! Yeah, just one more job and I can get my payment and wave goodbye to my private buyer. That creep. You're gonna meet him? I don't envy you. He sounds mean. Yeah, some people. They ain't like us, Chasey. They don't have class. Do you need help with this job, then? I don't know. I mean, the other thing he wants is some boat from the fire department. Well, I got guys who can drive it, but, uh... What's the problem? The keys to it are in the fire chief's safe. The only people who can get near to it are firemen. Whoever does the job would have to go undercover. You reckon you could do that? Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've obviously never done that before, but I think I could do it. Then the job's yours. Thanks, Chasey. I won't forget it. Chase, I've got some great news. Oh, hey there, Frank. What is it? I have been promoted! What? Wait, who by? Sheriff Huckleberry. He's made me head of tree-related crime. Ah, are people stealing a lot of trees? Not since I've taken over. So, what you up to? Oh, the usual, actual police work. I'm just going undercover for Vinny as a fireman. Aren't you already undercover? So, now you're undercover, undercover? Whoa! I'm going to get one of the fire department's boats for Vinny. Oh? And once I've taken it to Vinny, he's gonna go see Rex, and I'll follow him. Okay, Chase. As long as you're not stealing any trees. No, Frank. Speak later. Aye, aye! Over and out! You here to join the fire department? Okay, recruit, what is your name? Pete. Peterson, sir. Right, Pete Peterson. Being a fire officer is all about team effort. Team effort! Isn't that right, McGurkey? What? 
Don't help him. It means knowing what your fellow officer is thinking. What is my favorite flavor of cake, Pete Peterson? Uh, chocolate? Even the new recruit knows! Ah! Well then, Pete Peterson, we'd better start your training. What are you doing, man? I haven't given you any instructions yet. Sorry, I, I got a little excited. Fire extinguishers are not toys. They are not to be played with. Follow me over here. Whee! This is Officer Lopez Delgado. Hola. He'll give you your basic training. I've got to write a talk on the importance of buying the right flavor of birthday cake. All right, Pete, is it? This is wonderful. <laughs> First of all, we'd better get you looking like a fire officer, hadn't we, huh? <laughs> there is a shiny new uniform in the middle garage. If you can get the door open. I guess I just pulled this lever? Yeah, that would have been too easy. Looks like someone forgot to finish painting that garage door. That garage door would look a lot better with a lick of paint. Someone really ought to finish painting that garage door. You look as bright as a button. <laughs> okay, we're going to start things out nice and easy. Oh no, look, a raging inferno has erupted. Oh, if only some. That's great, well done. You will be an asset to us, as there have been an unusual amount of fires of late. Although most of the recent fires have been burning down properties of school. Well done. Wait a minute, that door is shut. Oh, and an innocent valve handle is trapped behind it. Oh, here, fire axe. Do you think you could somehow use this axe to get through that door? Don't worry, you won't get into trouble. Here's Petey. <laughs> oh, well, aren't you big and good? Oh, great heavens, look. One of your soon-to-be comrades has accidentally turned their hose pressure up too high. But who could help him? Who might have some kind of valve? Yes, you see where I'm going with this? Some kind of valve to lower the pressure. Ooh. All right, you lasted ages. That's got to be a record. Uh, muy bien. You made short work of that, didn't you? Let us go to the next area, shall we? What excitement could await us in there? Open the gates! Several of your co-workers are trapped on that building! Am I not the most excellent actor? <laughs> now, tell these other officers which way to carry the trampoline so you can catch your stranded friends. Go left! 
Going left. Stop. Geronimo! Ha <laughs> ha! Excellent catch! Right a bit? Get oh. ready! Oh, you almost lost one! Get ready! Yay! Got him! Go right! Keep going right! Good work! Hey hey! Nicely done! Left a bit. Wait there. Woohoo! And that is the last one. Well done. Now that they are safely down, we can put out those fires up there. But they are too far and too ferocious for your own extinguisher. But not for these. Yes. They are impressive, are they not? Say hello to my massive friends. Hop on to one of them! Excellent! The water cannon can squirt a lot higher than your extinguisher can. That's half of them! Aren't you, Officer Awesome? There you go! That wasn't so hard, was it? Oh, quickly! A most urgent situation has arisen! What is it? Oh, you're acting again, aren't you? Yes. Our station mascot, Admiral Pom Pom Muggins III, has become trapped on a ledge! You want me to rescue a cat? Oh, yes. Now you will truly learn what it is to be a fire officer in Lego City. To rescue cats is our highest calling. Because they're usually on top of buildings. But first, you will need some way to get up to him. Hmm? Build a ladder! Go on! I hope my training's almost finished. I've still got to get to the fireboat. Then, once Vinny's got the boat, I can follow him to Rex. It's almost time for Admiral Pom Pom's nap. Is this why there was a stinky fish in the pocket of my uniform? Yes. Also, in case you get hungry. Yuck. Pom Pom took over from our previous mascot, Commander Claus. And believe me, Commander Claus earned his name. He was quite the contract negotiator.
saved him! Okay, well, we're all done here. I'll see you inside for the chief's birthday party. There's lots of food! Wow! They've done this place up really nice. Huh. Maybe if we did the same for Dunby's birthday, he wouldn't be such a grumpy pants. Hey, JC, how you settling into your new job? Good, but I'm gonna have to get the fire chief out of his office so I can open the door to the boathouse. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, kid. The last person who disappointed me bought the farm, you know? You mean? Yeah, even after I told him it was a terrible investment. Anyway, don't sweat the fire chief thing. You'll figure it out, kid. Everybody has a weakness. Chief's sulking in his office. I keep out. Go away. I'm busy. I'm not crying. Who would have thought being a firefighter would involve so much paperwork? Not me. There are like a hundred different forms just for rescuing cats. I know. Speaking of which, do you have a 37B? It's the one for short-haired tabby cats up an oak tree. Sorry, we're all out. I've got one for a long-haired green-eyed Persian with a foul temper on top of a traffic signal if you like. Nah. Uh, you think the Burns will come out of his office again today? I hope not. Last time it was just to yell at me for playing on that squirty clown thing downstairs. You ever snuck into Burns' office? Almost. I got up on top of the light fitting outside it, but I couldn't make the jump to his office. Huh. What if we brought in a hang glider? I'd so be up for that. Probably wait until tomorrow before asking for a raise. Huh? <laughs> 
<sighs> it's no good. I can't beat it. The heads keep spinning and I can't aim my extinguisher straight. I had the exact same problem, which is kind of worrying, seeing as we're meant to be firefighters. You know, Chief Burns is such a party pooper. Yeah, just because we got him the wrong kind of cake. And blew out the candle before him. And opened some of his presents. And congratulated him on his 50th birthday, when he's only 40. And got him a Mother's Day card instead of a birthday one. And got his name wrong on it. I mean, what's wrong with that? He is so touchy. You gotta aim for their mouths. But only when they're facing you. Hey, you did it! Oh, well done, man. That is outstanding. What's going on out there? You people better not be enjoying yourself on my birthday. I better not see anyone smiling down there. Time to find this boat and sail it away. Over here! How did you guys get in here? Uh, we swam. He swam. I used the back door because I'm not a simpleton. Oh, man. I just went through basic training to get in here. And it's a good thing you did, because we're stuck on this side of the fence. Uh, yeah. And we can't open that big door to get the boat out of here. Leave it to me. 
Like we have a choice. Aw, I like him. The boss said you should get on the water cannon. Come on! Get on the boat already! We gotta move! That little joystick does. Don't know. Try moving it. It move! It don't do nothing. See? Chasey? Nah, it was nothing. I want you to know you're my go-to guy now. I really trust yous. Aw, thanks, Vinny. And now I can finally get that private buyer off my case. <laughs> Time to arrange a meeting. I'll be in touch afterwards. All I need to do is follow you to Rex Fury. What could go wrong? I told you I'd trust you to find my dad, Chase. Don't you trust me? What? I, I'm kind of... Look, I know you've got cops keeping tabs on me. You do? I mean, what? I haven't arranged anything like that. I have somewhere I need to go, Natalia. Don't pretend, Chase. I'm at the hospital, and I can see them watching me from across the road. What do they look like? Uh, well... Really smartly dressed for cops, they're wearing black suits, and they're standing by an unmarked black van and a limousine. They're not cops, are they? I don't think so. And now they're coming towards the hospital. Chase? Yes? Help! Natalia? Natalia? Really? This again?
Yikes. Things really went from bad to worse. This must be where the hospital stores all its huge fires.
I'm trying! You ain't kidding! There's no way to climb up there! But I could climb up there. Ellie, I think I'll need another favor soon. What is it this time? Does the department have a safe house anywhere? So people are after Natalia, so she can't go back to her own place. All the safe houses are booked up, I'm afraid. Chan's guys are in them, selling each other out. But, uh, if she doesn't mind couch surfing, she could stay at my place. Is it safe? I've got a big dog, although the only way he'll help is if the bad guys are allergic to him. Well, it's better than sharing with one of Chan's guys. Thanks again, Ellie. Not a problem. I'll head there now. Do you need backup? No time. I can handle this. My legs better not get tired halfway up. not get to her.
I'm coming! Stay there! Oh, okay! Because I was thinking of hurling myself off the side of the building! Sheesh, mortal peril really brings out her sarcastic side. Hey! Well, okay. I hope this chicken can take both of our weights. Are you saying I weigh a lot? Yes. I'm choosing this exact moment to discuss how much you weigh. Where's the hospital's helicopter? The one day it's not here. Of course. A helicopter. Oh, sure. The hospital's helicopter is always buzzing around the building when I'm carrying files it can blow out of my hands. But as soon as I'm getting pursued by mysterious men, nowhere to be seen.
keep back. I'll deal with them. Yeah, I think that's for the best. That's all of them. Get in. Really? You can fly a helicopter? Let's find out. Who were those men? No idea. They didn't look like Chan or Vinnie Papalardo's guys. They don't even look like Rex's thugs either. The only time you see them in suits is in court. Are they the people who took my dad, Chase? They could be. But I thought Rex was behind that. What does your dad do? He's a professor. He worked on Apollo Island for years, but he's been on a private research contract for the last few months. Oh? I don't know the details, and he kept his cabin locked up tight because of the precious stones he was working with. What's going on, Chase? I'm not 100% sure. Chan and Vinny were working for Rex. These other guys? Maybe Rex is working for them. I'll find out. But first, I'm taking you to a friend's place. She's called Ellie. You should be safe there. Thank you, Chase. Huh? So it looks like I know how to fly a helicopter then. And now I know that you have to switch off their engines after you land. I suppose I owe you an apology. I know you've been trying to protect me. I was just worried about my dad. And I know you didn't mean to reveal my identity during Rex's trial. Oh, right. So why have you been such a pain? Well, I still wasn't happy about it. When I first met you, I trusted you completely. I, I might have even had some feelings. So when you just left like that... Feelings? <laughs> Shut up. So, would you like to see a movie sometime? <laughs> You're actually kind of sweet, Chase. But you're married to your job, and I don't date married men. How about coffee? Just find my dad, Chase. Tea? A tiny cookie? Ice cream? Ice cream. Vinny's meeting with Rex. Please don't have left the restaurant yet. <laughs> <laughs> 